Oh, great. Mobile generator cooler has been destroyed just when I start recording. Well, I guess this is where we say goodbye to the mobile wash plant, because it has been breaking down like crazy. Are you serious? Man, I just fixed the, uh, the top washer on here. We also had a breakdown of the motor as well. Clearly, it's showing its age, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be changing to a stationary wash plant and hopefully getting better yields. So, welcome back to Gold Rush, guys. I didn't expect to have a breakdown already, but uh, I guess it's not too bad. I was going to finish up the rest of these buckets. I think I only got two left anyways, so I guess we'll do a quick washout. And we should have a decent amount of money, hopefully enough to get to the next stage. Now, I did do, obviously, a lot off recording as I usually do. This game has a big grinding aspect to it. Uh, so this is a whole new hole, and we've dug a lot of it. So this is probably the best pay ground in this new area as well. There's our old hole over here, which I did do a lot of digging in as well. And as you can see by the top right, we have quite a bit of money right now and gold. And the even better news is I've already paid off my gigantic loan as well. So even if we don't have enough money right now, we'll be able to uh, get a quick loan and hopefully have enough to uh, move on to the next stage of gold mining. I gotta say, this thing's been great to me, uh, but as you can see, it's a little bit too small. I'm missing a little bit of dirt, and that's the good pay dirt right over here. Uh, so I'm excited to get rid of it, because now we're moving on to greener pastures. But before that, whoa. Whoa! That's the first time I've ever seen thunder in this game. That, whoa, that is, okay. I'm, uh, knowing this game, I might get struck by lightning or something. But yeah, we're going to do a quick wash out here. Hopefully we can get about 5,000 grams of gold. I've been getting really lucky with nuggets lately in this new area. So, uh, like, big nuggets, too. I think the biggest one I got was 500 grams. Uh, so you can't complain with that. Let's go wash this out and uh, see if we can get the big 5,000. All right, and there's our first bucket. Let's see what we're working with today. Now, the ground where we're currently mining, sometimes it's extremely good. Other times, it's extremely bad. Uh, in the mid-tier of the ground, it's really, really good. Uh, but I've noticed if I go too deep or go too shallow, I get basically no gold at all. Uh, so actually, that's not bad. 141 grams for about half a bucket. I'll take it. All right, we're definitely going to hit that 5,000 grams. That is by far the most gold I've ever had at one given time, so that feels really good. Uh, I've done a lot of gold mining, so uh, yeah, really nice to see a good amount. And there we go, only 192 grams with a full bucket there, so that kind of shows you how crazy this ground is. Uh, you very much have to pinpoint where the gold is if you want to get decent yields every time. What's this one? 231. Wow, okay, so yeah, we didn't hit very good gold here, it looks like. That first bucket... Oddly enough, with only half, it's getting almost as much as these buckets. Uh, but we still got... Actually, was that all of it? I think we got one more, right? Yeah, we got one more here. Hopefully, this one's a little bit better. All right, the final bucket. Come on, little gold nugs, be in there. I see you guys shining. You just got to give me... I mean, come on. I when, I when we were streaming this, I had 300 gram buckets. So, we're not getting too lucky right now. But as you can see, we got more than enough gold. 5,500, actually, and increasing... 20% yield left in this thing, too, so it looks like we're going to get maybe 5,600. Slowing down a little bit now, of course. Wow! See, that that's what I'm talking about? The ground is so weird here. That was double the yield of any other bucket, and I was digging in the exact same spot. I just must have hit a really good gold vein for that bucket there. Uh, so it's kind of fun because the, the, uh, the old ground was all the same, basically. Now you really got to pinpoint it. All right, but that is a lot of money. We are going to be able to buy some upgrades, and I estimated it out. I think we're going to need about 500 grand, so I don't actually know if this is going to be enough right now, but we should be able to get at least the baseline set up uh, for the new wash plant. I would like to get a dump truck too, obviously, though, if we have enough money, of course. So, yeah, let's go back to Haynes, Alaska. Oh, that's right. I bought an extra bucket because I, I, I could use a few more. Definitely need some more buckets when we get to Haynes. All right, and it's my favorite store. Now, I got to remember what exactly we're going to need. Um, I know there's certain items that we're going to need multiples of. I'm not actually sure exactly which ones it is. So hopefully I remember. Uh, this goes a sluice box that connects the trauma with the duplex jig. Jesus, what? Okay, so I don't even know what a duplex jig is anymore. It's been a while. Now, we're not going to get the conveyor belt today. That's definitely an upgrade we'll do later on, though. Uh, but that's, what, about 120 grand right there. What we're going to be starting with is the simple stuff, the duplex jig. We need two of these. 
I believe so. That's 88 grand right there. You know what? Actually, we should probably go get our gold done first because I only got 125 grand. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need those. Just get a mental note of how much we're going to need. 88 grand. Um, that's an upgrade, as you can clearly see. Uh, planter. All these things. These are all do basically the same thing. They're just vastly different. Uh, we're going to need the sluice box. This is where the we put our mats. And as you can see, is that, is that how big the mats are? We're going to need so many if that's the case. I This has been so long since I've done this. Hopefully I do this right. Uh, we're also going to need the trommel. That's 31 grand there. And again, we can upgrade it to trommels as we go about this. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to at least need 200 grand. That's a very rough estimate for just our extraction. We're also going to need probably the big power generator, and it would be smart to get the big fuel tank as well. That's not a crazy expensive item. Now, the big question is, I have no idea how much the dump truck is, but that's something else I'm going to want to get, hopefully today. And 119, that's actually not bad. If we get a pretty aggressive loan, I think we'd be able to buy everything today, so I'm not so worried anymore. Okay, so first of all, we need the shaker. Now, I believe the shaker is this white beautiful bait beast over here. So, yeah, I didn't account for a hundred grand. Um, we have the Glacier Creek, which is, I think, the upgraded shaker. That's obviously something we cannot afford right now, so we're definitely not going to do that. Um, I guess we got to buy it, so let's do it. See how much money we have left at the end here. I don't think we're going to have much. A sluice box that connects the trommel with the duplex jig. Okay, so obviously we're going to need that. It's only 648, so let's just buy two. Worst case, we can always just sell one back. A sluice box that takes away the smaller rocks from the shaker. All right, so I think we only need one of those, but just in case, I'm going to buy two. And like I said, we can sell it later. We'll buy the conveyor belt hopper later. That's going to make loading much easier. Uh, I don't need it right now. What we're going to need is the sluice boxes. Uh, we'll need two of these because we have two duplex jigs. So... I think that's everything, aside from, of course, the beautiful dump truck, which I think we're going to get right now, regardless of price. How much, what, what's the damage of my bill right now? That's what I'm curious. It's definitely over 322 grand. Hey, that's actually not bad. I thought it would be like five, 600. Jeez, I'm clearly off with my math today. Well, we're going to go get a decent loan because we're going to be pulling so much gold out of the ground anyways. I don't care if I have to pay a crazy amount of interest. Uh, I'd rather be safe and get a good loan right now in case I miss something big that I need to buy. All right, but that's good. We actually almost had enough money to fully buy all these upgrades, dump truck included. That is huge. So we're going to get, we probably get a pretty major loan right now, 400 grand. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'll do that. We'll do some crazy installments here. Um, what's daily payment of that? 67 grand. Too much for my taste. Even with these uh, 24 installments with interest in the crazy amounts oh, man it's just hard to you know pay back a million dollars when you're only getting 400 let me see here let's actually drop it down to maybe 215 that's 22 grand a day that's what i was paying basically before so i think i'm gonna up it to 300 and pretend i do not have to pay that 30 grand and we're gonna take that loan oh, that might have been a big mistake but i've paid off so many loans already it's it, it's just part of the game at this point for me all right, now for the part that I'm dreading. We have to manually mi Ow, Jesus Christ. We have to manually, mind you, move all these things uh, with the excavator. So this is going to be fun. I haven't done this since our last playthrough, and I'm not very good at it. Oh, look at that dump truck, though. It's so beautiful. Look at all this stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to try and do as much as I can before nighttime comes because I am not going to be able to see... And I'm hoping we can move the majority of this in the daytime. So first of all, what we're going to want to move, I think, is the shaker. So let's get that set up. What we're going to... Oh, easy now, tiger. So I'm just going to throw it literally everything over here. Uh, and we'll just have to sort through it as we need the stuff. Because this is, this is a very valid idea. This is not going to take forever to find everything in here. All right, so we got one. Well, I think we need four. Yeah, so we got the bottom ones here. There's different attach points. Oh, wow. Is there six on this? No, I don't think so. Jesus, this is the first one. This is the hardest one, though, because it's so tall. After this, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to move this intentionally over here. That way, the last one should be easy. It's already dark out! Okay, maybe we should sleep just for my own sanity. Uh, at least when it gets too dark, this is going to be, like, real rough to deal with. Okay, thank God I can jump up this way. And look at that! We're all connected. Now we just got to drag this big thing over there without killing myself. Okay, so 
Well, maybe I should have used the four meter ones because these are a lot longer than I expected. <sighs> okay. Well, it's up off the ground. If we lift this too, we can actually lift it a little bit higher. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Haven't done this in a long time, but look at that. Oh, wow, they updated that. It's a lot easier to see now. That's kind of nice. So at least we know where we got to put it. We just got to make our way there. Oh, watch out for the water tank. Okay, just hit it a little bit. That's fine. Oh, my God. Okay, just don't don't break my cords because I didn't buy many. Seriously, why don't I have employees right now? Uh, by the way, I fired all my employees. <laughs> I like how I'm questioning that as I just fired them. Uh, they just don't seem to work. I tried to get the bucket to set up again, the, the bucket guy. He doesn't do anything. So until I figure out how the employees work, we are doing this solo, man. All right, we, we're the wrong way, aren't we? Great. So I don't remember how difficult this is. I might need to turn this thing all the way around. If that's the case, that will be fun. It doesn't want to go this way, so we literally have to set this up the right way as well. Um, so I got to figure out what's the best way to turn this thing around. I'm going to drop it on the ground here. And I might just have to switch some of the cords. Ah, is it working? Ah, I'm not totally dumb. Okay, there we go. Put it in quick before it spins too much. Yes! Oh, that was perfect. That actually worked out. I'm feeling good about myself now. That was the hardest part. Let's move on to some of the easier ones. Uh. Okay, well, I guess we can do it that way. Why not, right? Let's at least get it closer. This is this is probably not a very smart idea. I'm definitely gonna break something, but hey, it's working. I just gotta bring this down here. I was trying to flip it around because it's upside down now. All right, there we go. Well, at least we're a little bit closer. Look at that. It knows that I want to put it there. Is this all the way up? Oh, it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, even with four meters, they they are quite large, as you can see. Now I have no idea what side's the right side for this, so let's just. Oh, God. See if we can maybe snap it down there. Come on, Lady Luck. Give it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, one's done. Jesus Christ, this is going to take forever. All right, this is this is getting a little dangerous, but hey, it's it's fine. It's fine. I should have put it the uh, first one in the harder to reach slot, but maybe, come on, just bring it over. Yeah, dude, it's working out. Okay, this ain't so bad. We got the big items done. Ah, oh, now we just got to do all the sluice boxes and uh, what the well we need actually the trommel I totally forgot about that's probably gonna be one of the hardest too. Oh, easy now, easy now, tiger. Okay, so got the next piece over here. Don't break those cords. Oh, I don't want I didn't want to spin that way. Okay, hold on. Let me just switch over to this. Are we maxed? See, the problem is we're going downhill, so this is as, as tall as I can reach right now. I'm gonna need to go to the other side. Oh, actually, I lied. I totally lied. I'm I'm not very smart sometimes. Okay, well, let's try and get it a little further in there. Let's see, oh god, oh my god, this is this is ridiculous. I need helpers, man. All right, I don't even know which side is which. Um, I'm thinking that this side is supposed to go over to the right side of this because it's got those little side compartments. That's usually made to catch dirt, so let's just see if we can manhandle it a bit. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so you just gotta manhandle a little bit, that's all. All right, Jesus, that was not easy. Oh, Jesus, oh, watch out, truck. Watch out, truck, oh, oh, God! Oh, we, we, we got problems, okay. That could've went way worse, I could've destroyed my truck. I snapped two of those things, though. Oh, no, 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 okay, are they still there? Sometimes they spawn on the ground. That was bad. That was real bad, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, this is, this is, this is, this is what I'm used to. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Relax. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to be up there, but... <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> God. I was doing so good until this happened. Oh, come on, you're not gonna work that way? What if I just drag it over a bit? Oh, this might snap some snap some cables. Let's see if we can... See, I'm maxed out, that's the unfortunate part. Like, I am literally maxed out right now. Ah, oh, God! Oh, no, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, okay, this, this is bad, I'm freaking out now. Every time a cable snaps. Oh, Jesus, oh, don't break my plan. Okay, well... Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, you gotta tell me that this is good. 
Jesus, is it, is it the wrong way? Because the other one, as you can see, it says in, and it's pointing in this direction. Now I'm, I'm actually wedged in there. Oh, easy now. Okay, just drag it again. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this is so frustrating. All right, what if I just keep trying to drag it? Come on, man. Yes, did it work? Is it in there? Hold on, hold on. It's not in there. Is it in there? I can't actually tell if that's attached or not. I don't think that's, that's definitely not attached, is it? Damn it. All right, come on, Justin Bieber. You can do this, buddy. Give it all you got and pull it. Oh, man, I might have to actually disassemble this. I don't think it's going to get in there. All right, go for it. Ah, got it. Oh, Justin Bieber, your MVP. I almost killed my head, but we... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's move. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe that actually worked. I, I was running out of ideas, and my final idea actually worked. Okay, move this so we don't break our damn truck. Thank you, Justin Bieber. You, you, you did a great job today, bud. Oh, I, mean, I think I broke my cables. I don't even care. It's in. At least let me make sure. Oh, yeah, it's in. I know it's in because we can see that we can put... Uh... Actually, I don't even know what these things are. It's been so long. Now I just need to do that again with another one. Great. Okay. Unfortunately, I connected this the wrong way. I was going to try and put it over the top of the area because, again, we're going downhill. Okay, that worked out. Never mind. Never mind. Not unfortunate. That was totally intentional. That one amazing. Okay, and I just got an achievement, Big Fish, so I'm assuming I have this fully set up. Well, mind you, we still got to get electricity and whatnot. Uh, but we did all the big parts. Oh, my God, that was not easy. So I just got to figure out everything we need. So we need electricity down to here for that engine. We need electricity up to here. I also don't know where my big generator is. I swear I bought the thing. I don't see it around here, though. Does it actually show up on the map by any chance? So either I forgot to buy it, and I thought I did, or it randomly vanished. Because I don't... I'm going to take a double check here, but I don't think it's here. So that's something we'll have to buy. It's a good thing I got that loan, man. It's going to deplete really quickly if we don't get this set up within the next couple of days. Okay, and uh, it's almost uh, another full day, and we are almost finally fully set up. Now, where was the connector on these? On the other side, of course. It's going to be a little bit of a messy cord, but that's fine. So I've set up the buckets. I have all the moss mats set up. Oh, it was not easy to set this beast up, but I think now we are officially good. I like that this labels them as well. That's actually so cool. Uh, I think we're good. As long as the water is easy to obtain, we should be okay. Because we got power, as you can see, once we turn it on, of course. We just need to get the water here now. And we need the big hose for that. So, the question is, do I want to just pull it directly off what I'm working with right now over here? We should be okay, because we use the big hose anyways. We just got to attach another big hose to the out, and we should be good to go. So let's just ro roll this up a bit, organize. All right, no idea if this will work or not, but I connected the small hose because we don't have a bigger filter to the big hose to connect to this, so we can take the outboard over to this. But, oh my God, then again, I have to make it smaller again because there's only a small connection on this. I'm losing my mind. I'm I'm losing my freaking mind at this point. The amount of of hoses that I need, it's just stupid. It's absolutely dumb if this is how you're supposed to do it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you can just put the big hose in the water. I have no idea. Uh, well, let's at least connect the uh, power to this thing. Hopefully we have enough power as well. Didn't think about that, but maybe I can overuse this generator. Well, I have two of them, so at least we got that going for us if that happens, but I don't think it should. Okay. There we go. At least we got that. Now we just need to buy, once again, another one of these and revert it back down to small. This is, this, this is so stupid. Now big water pump is on. We are getting power. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Jesus. That's a little worrisome that it's doing that. Are we getting water, though? It doesn't look like we're getting water, so I don't think this is the way to do this question is, do I just put the giant hose in the water then? Because this is very much in the water, as you can see. 
Or do I need to have multiple hoses in the water now because we're connected to a huge hose? I'm gonna try the big hose in the water. I don't know what to do at this point. Okay, big hose in said water. Are we getting water possibly? Oh, I didn't expect to be so confused here. You know we are, well, hold on. No, we are not. So that is not how to do this. Let's turn everything off. I gotta figure this out. All right, you know what? Maybe this is working. I don't know. I've, I've run out of options. I did some research and they say they don't have a water filter for the big pump yet. So it should be working. So we're just going to turn everything on. Let's see what happens here. Let's just see everything's spinning. It's shaking. Please tell me this is green. It's not green. That being said, it's, it's still, it's white, but white doesn't mean there's water, does it? No, because you'd see water going down here. So I'm at a loss for words. Maybe it's because I'm using a river and you just literally can't get enough out of the river. That, or maybe I gotta connect four hoses to this to suck it through filters. So yeah, they didn't have these giant pumps last time I played, I don't think. So this is very much new to me. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do to fix this, let me know. Because at this point, I don't know what to tell you. It's ve very shallow here, but you can see it is definitely underwater. Uh, there's no water going through this. And I'm wondering, I'm worried about this electrical issue as well. It's working, you can hear it on. Uh... All right, return it on. I mean, it's good. We're only using 1,000 watts out of the 4,000 we can use, so everything on paper is good. Is this thing moving? This thing's shaking? Everything else is totally fine. We're ready to go once we figure out our water issue, but I'm actually really worried now. Is it, do I have to turn this on? Is there a valve I gotta flip? Uh, okay. I decided to randomly try and restart the game and it looks like we are officially good to go. For some reason, it didn't want to work. That is so weird. Okay, so yeah, I just had to restart the game and it's good. Oh, hey, look, the storm's back. Right, thanks. Okay, now we're officially ending though because I, I, I need a little bit of a break. That I, I troubleshooted that so long and all I had to do was restart the freaking game. Why it wasn't working beforehand, I don't know. Uh, but that's part of Gold Rush, man. Weird ass glitches like that. So, like I said before, thanks for watching and liking, guys. We are officially set up now, as you can clearly see. Water is going through. I'm excited to get gold mining because I got to pay off this loan. Thanks again for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.